Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. Let's start today's video off with our current reigning Arnold Classic champion, Hottie Chupin. Hottie's lats and the tiny waist, so impressive in this update. And I thought Hottie's waist only looked smaller due to the bigger quads, but no quads in this picture and waist still looks small. But prior to Hottie's Arnold Classic win, there were a group of people saying that Hottie is very blocky, Hottie isn't really making improvements, probably even regressing, but he pretty much silenced everyone with the package he brought to the Arnold Classic Ohio, which a lot of people think is the best Hottie Chupin we've ever seen. So following his recent Arnold Classic wins, I think we have a lot more people believing that Hottie Chupin can win the Mr. Olympia title back. Now I know I've said before, the Mr. Olympia will be Hottie's third show of the year, but we are talking about Hottie Chupin, the most consistent bodybuilder in the sport today. Also, a former Mr. Olympia champion, a reigning Arnold Classic champion, and he's being coached by Honey Rambod. I think it's possible that Heidi is even better at this year's Olympia. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think? And in the next update of the day, we have a recent update from Rafa Brandau ahead of the Arnold Classic South America, and he is looking incredible. Again, he brought a great package to the Arnold Ohio, and that was his first show with his new coach, Neil Hill, and I'm expecting something even better at this South America show. Now, something I have been forgetting to mention, Rafa is a Brazilian. I'm pretty sure he really, really wants to win this show. And for some odd reason, if you've never seen this guy compete, the level of energy that he brings to the stage is honestly just insane. And these images were some recent cell phone images of Rafa Brandau. I think I'm gonna keep my predictions a little bit quiet and actually do a prediction video closer to the show. But right now, I can tell you that Rafa is my favorite to win. And also ahead of the Arnold South America, we have a recent update from Good Vito. And the first thing that I noticed about this update, I think Vito looks a lot smaller than he did about four or five weeks ago. And I know Vito's in prep, so I would just chalk it up to him being flat or possibly depleted. But let me know in the comment section below what are your expectations for Good Vito making his pro debut at the Arnold Classic South America. He's gonna be up against Rafa Brandau, Tony O'Burton, it's going to be some stiff competition. I'm hoping that Vito shows up. I'm expecting possibly a top three, at least top four. Now let's switch over to Tony O'Burton. And I want to say this. In the last video when we talked about Tony O'Burton, I said I was a little bit worried about him from the side. Possibly still needs more thickness. But Tony o looks great from the side here. And overall, going into this show, I think we're seeing the best Tony o we've ever seen. All he has to do is land the plane at the South America show. And I honestly think him and Rafa have somewhat similar physiques. Rafa is just a little bit taller. And I know I said Rafa is my favorite, but we cannot count out Tony o Burton. I do believe Tony o will have an edge in the back shots. I'm just not sure how much of an edge. But let me know in the comment section below. What are your current predictions for the 2024 Arnold Classic South America? Again, I'm going to try to hold off on predictions, but I do think this show is going to come down to Tony o Burton versus Rafa Brandau. And I'm excited to see what both guys are going to bring, especially Tonio. It looks like he's made some serious improvements. Now in the next update of the day, we have a recent update from Hunter Labrada, who was at his biggest, also his leanest, and Hunter's midsection is looking in control as well. Hunter Labrada is making improvements. A lot of people don't like this guy because of past placings, but Hunter is a great bodybuilder. He's currently the sixth best bodybuilder in the world, and of course he wants to get back into that top four. He's going to have to beat Andrew Jack, which is going to be very, very tough to do. But I'm excited to see what Hunter brings this year. My early prediction is that Hunter Labrada improves even more this year. Now let's go ahead and wrap up today's video here with the archive of the day. Not really much bodybuilding news to talk about except for the guys competing in the Arnold Classic South America. But you guys let me know in the comment section below who is this legendary bodybuilder. And as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I'm Christian from Go Fitness and that's it. I'm out.